Welcome from Canada. I'm here in Gatineau again for the Gatineau Lopet. It's ice cold, let me tell you this. I'm so glad I skied yesterday already because today it will be tough, I guess. Follow me on another episode of Gunnar's Nordic Adventures, this time from the Gatineau Lopet. Cross-country skiing is not the only sports you can do here in Canada, Ottawa. I'm in front of the Canadian Tire Centre, the home of the Ottawa Senators. And before we are going to ski the Gatineau Park, we are going to witness a game of the NHL team. Wow, look at this stadium. Look at this. Awesome. Wow. Almost 20,000 people fit in this. Canadian Tire Center here in Ottawa. Unfortunately, the Senators lost. But anyhow, visiting the Canadian Tire Center and watching a match, an NHL game of the Ottawa Senators is definitely a must do when you go to the Gatineau Lopet. It's Friday before race weekend time to experience the city. We will meet Vladimir now from the local tourism agency and he will show us around in his city in Ottawa. Let's go. So my question to you is what are the three most important things a skier should do when, when we come to the Gatineau Lopet and check this city? We have the Rideau Canal Skateway, which is a UNESCO heritage, um, and it's the longest, the longest skateway in the world. Uh, another thing that you want to do when you're in Ottawa is uh, watch an, an NHL game. Ottawa Senators, that's the problem. We did that yesterday city. evening. And um, also, if you're a fan of history and culture, I highly suggest you should discover our museums. So Ottawa is also known as the capital of museums. And we have the museum, the Canadian Museum of History, the Canadian Museum of Nature. A hundred museums later. And if I may add one more. Okay, that's if okay. I may add the bonus, one more, the bonus, the bonus round. One, yeah. Our culinary scene is highly underrated, you guys. You have to come check out the food scene here. And it's lunchtime if you ask me, huh? Yeah, absolutely. So. And I know exactly what I'm thinking you actually. Okay, then let's go <laughs> and get something to eat. <laughs> so we just had our lunch. Yes. And now it's time for dessert. Let's start from dessert. And what better than an authentic beaver tail, which is something that you'll find here in Ottawa, right here, ladies and gentlemen. And we got some coupons, so let's have fun. Awesome, let's go and get it. Do you want something like more chocolatey, more sweet? Oh, maple, you know. Maple, maple would be yeah. really good one. I, I think that's that a touristic spot. <laughs> I maple. think that's a really good one. Awesome, then one maple, one maple? beaver tail, please. Sure that's mine. Perfect. Oh wow, looks delicious. Thank you very much. Nice, have a good one. There it is, beaver tail. Let's taste it. Oh wow, the smell is just awesome. This is the original first beaver tail stand here, so that's the place to go. Oh man, oh man, way too good. Mm. Nice. <laughs> A wonderful good morning from the Gatineau Park. Day one, classic style races. I'm going to do the 27K. I'm chasing the World Open Silver Master title. And I mean, look around me. Could it be better to ski a race than with these conditions? It's ice cold. We have minus 15 degrees, but no wind, sunshine, blue sky. It's only 15 minutes to the start, but this cafe here next to the starting line is so packed with people as it's really, really cold outside. So really wait for the last minutes to go out there to the start. Now it's only some minutes to the start. Can't wait inside any longer. Thank you for coming. It's really cold with minus 15 degrees, but uh, it's still okay. Cold! 
ever mentioned that it's cold? Well, if I have not, it's quite cold. That was the start signal. Let's go out there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, yes, finally moving, warming up the muscles. Perfect. Oh, it feels so good finally moving. And now, let's go. I wanted to film a little bit more during the race. But then I was totally in a flow, so I didn't want to film too much. Ah, final downhill. Oh, 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 oh no crash, no crash! <laughs> Made it! Ah, beautiful race course. If you ask me, a little bit too much uphill, but hey, that's it. Every uphill is also a downhill. On the finish line! And not far behind, mile two, love it. Ooh, awesome. He's also known as Made a bird lopet skier. So if hey, you don't awesome. already do oh, so, please oh, go and follow him. Oh, it's absolutely <laughs> worth it. Great, look at this. I have hot chocolate. Well, it's uh, frozen, but it was hot chocolate. Frozen hot chocolate. So basically cold chocolate. And now guys, this is the moment I've been waiting for the whole race. This is why we do this. The famous Canadian maple syrup candy. Maple syrup and snow. Everything you need for a perfect candy. Congratulations for your race. That's so delicious. Wow. After such a hard race day, it's time to relax. I'm here at the Nordic Spa, which is a partner of Gods and Love It. And let me tell you, this place is just amazing. I mean, have a look. There are so many different pools, ice cold pools, warm pools, a waterfall, different areas, sections, whatever you need, sauna, steam baths, really everything. And that's at such a cozy place. You have these cozy campfires everywhere. And now look behind me. That's the panorama pool. Awesome view over Ottawa, got to know that's the right place. <laughs> this pool really deserves its name, the panorama pool. You see the whole city back there. I mean, you're probably not. As it's foggy, but it's so beautiful. I'm so excited for the night to come because this night I will spend in such an extraordinary place. Actually, it's the most extraordinary place I've ever slept at because I won't sleep alone. This is my home for tonight, and you see a uh, huge fence behind me and this is highly needed because back there behind that fence are wolves and bears yes you hear it correctly so we are going to spend the night here at park omega in the so-called wolf cabin let's check this place out together come on but before dancing with the wolves let me show you around in this wolf cabin Let's start here in the kitchen. It's really big and you have everything to cook your meal for the whole family. Huge dining table here and a chill out area over here. All right, this was the first floor. Let's move up to the second floor. There are two sleeping rooms, so enough space for a whole family. Guys, it's so exciting just sitting here and waiting for the wolves to come out, even though I haven't seen them yet in a while. You just sit here, you wait. When will they come out? Is this a wolf or not? <laughs> so much fun. I've been waking up this morning by howling wolves. Now this beautiful sunrise. Standing here on the balcony, checking the area, the woods, the ridge, always like looking. Is there a wolf? Is it a wolf? and then suddenly they come out uh, 
suddenly you see them. It's really, really great experience. Oh, well, here he is. Ha, oh, man, what a size. Wow. It's so interesting to observe the behavior within this uh, pack. The young wolves, they're right on this ridge here. They're fighting all the time. I guess they're the younger ones as they're smaller. And then there is this alpha couple. And one of the alpha couple, and I guess that's the mother, she's always like standing 20 meters or something away from the young wolves and observing them all the time when they're fighting. So really interesting. As a marathon skier, it's always important to get the right nutrition, the good pre-race meals, after-race meals. And this is exactly what we are going to do right now. This is why we meet Yvonne here. Hey. He is our guide today to catch some Canadian rainbow trout, correct? Correct. The place here is the Canuck Nature Reserve. Back there, you see my chalet for tonight. <laughs> so Yvonne, one question. This is a huge lake. No, this is a small lake. Okay, yeah, okay <laughs> for you it's a small lake, I see. But everything's white here. Why would, where would you know where to make the hole? We are guides, so we need to fish a bit to understand where they are at this time of the year. Try and error, yeah, oh, that's yeah. it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. okay. And when you find the spot see. and the right depth. <laughs> Let's go. Again, around, around 50 to 15 feet, like a five meter. So we see the depth here on the sonar. And also if a fish is approaching, which is quite exciting. Uh, oh, okay, stop there, the fish is coming to your lure. Okay. So the fish are coming. There's a bite. Here yeah, it is. Good. Yeah. Fish on. Fish on. Now don't lose it. Keep the pressure on. Pressure and yeah. here yeah. it is. Here we go. Real Canadian rainbow trout. Beautiful. Look at this. Nice. Here we go. <laughs> Good catching fish is one thing, but cooking it is another thing. I'm used to the food my wife is cooking for us, but now I'm all on my own. I hope I don't burn this whole, whole place. The rainbow trout we caught today. Go. While I'm cooking here, back there, the oven is heating this cabin already. Oh, let's try it. Actually caught a few hours ago and the lake out there. And now let's try it. Wow. What a meal. When doing such a travel to the Gatineau in Canada and then one week later to the American Birkebeiner in one trip, it's so important to come down between the two races, between the two marathons to relax. And this is why I am spending a night here in a secret escape. It's called Canuck Nature Reserve. It's uh, one hour from the Gatineau Lopet on the way to Montreal. So if you're flying from Montreal, it's on your way. In the Canuck Nature Reserve, you have several different chalets, cabins, so even as a travel group, you would find your space or alone or as a couple. And let me tell you, these cabins are just beautiful. If you're searching a little bit more for action, another activity, then this is also the right spot for you. You can do different activities here in Canuck Nature Reserve, cross country skiing, ice fishing, snowshoeing, dog sledding. So I really enjoy a, a silent evening in this cabin. In this lonely cabin in the woods sitting in front of the of the oven reading a book 